Hello engineers and welcome to my channel. I'm Yash and in this video, we will learn how to build this amazing portfolio using React and Tailwind. So before we get started, let me show you what we'll be building today. Here on my left side, I have the desktop version of the, uh, of the portfolio and on the right side, I have mobile version. And guys, best part about this portfolio is that we have changeable theme. So currently we have dark mode and if you click here, it becomes light mode, which looks just fantastic, right? If I click again and it works on mobile versions as well. Super awesome. Okay, moving along, we have this beautiful hero section with amazing colors and 3D avatar. And uh, we have this hover effect on hovering over the social links. And once I look at the animation on the hand guys, it's it feels like it's pulsing, right? We will be doing all this animations and all this beautiful stuff right inside Tailwind guys, super awesome. Okay, if you click here, all the links work, so it will take you to Facebook and LinkedIn and so on, right? You get the point. And all the links work on mobile version as well. And uh, once again, look at the animation of this arrow button, right? Which is pointing down. And best part is, if you scroll down, arrow disappears. Super awesome, super simple. And once again, with this resume, so if I click here, it will literally download my resume on my computer and it will show you. Right now it's just blank, but if it's your real resume, you can swap it with this resume and whoever visits your portfolio will be able to download your resume. And guys, this works on mobile versions as well. So I'll just close this. Let's scroll down. This is the service section with beautiful grid and amazing shadow. Uh, you get the point. And if you scroll here in mobile version, it's single grid, right? Super awesome. Uh, scroll here, you see portfolio section. And same thing, scroll here, you see your portfolio section with this beautiful icons, which takes you to GitHub and demo link. Now, uh, all these links are unique, guys. So if you click here, it will take you to node, uh, click here, it will take, like, you get the point, right? Uh, just assume that they you can swap the link with your original projects, right? and beautiful colors guys, beautiful shadow as well. And uh, once we are done uh, like scrolling through the whole portfolio, I'll show you how it looks in uh, light mode as well, right? Then we have this beautiful testimonial section and same thing goes here. We have testimonial section with name of the person and the comment they gave, right? It's just a placeholder, but you get the point, right? You can also change the avatars if you like. And once again, you have this context section with all the links working, right, just fine. And we have this amazing form. Uh, so, and guys, this form is completely operational. So we will be using getform.io for that. And as you can see, there are no submissions right now. So what I'll do is quickly go and uh, fill out this form. So foo and just some random numbers, foo at gmail.com right here. And best portfolio ever. And just uh, some exclamations and bam. If I click send, it just works fine look at that so you can go back and if we go to getform.io you get all this data right inside getform right super awesome guys uh okay that's that and so let me do one thing okay uh, when it came back it automatically become light mode but this is how you convert to light mode and dark mode so let's keep light mode for this as well we can do light mode and once again, let's scroll down. You can see service section with beautiful hover, right? Awesome. And this this is the portfolio section. As you can see, scroll down. This is testimonial. And this is our beautiful, beautiful form. And once again, you can see it's working completely fine, right? Scroll down and you can see this is the mobile version. So uh, let me close this. I'll just keep this open. Let's move it to this side. And let's start by creating our project. So currently I'm in my terminal and I think I'm in the direct, right directory which I want to be. So what I'll do is npx create react app and I will name it portfolio. Uh, let's do Tony Stark. So, okay, this sounds fine. And as we have Tony Stark right here. So I'll wait for this to get done. And once it's done, I'll get back to you guys. Okay guys, so now it's happy hacking. So what we can do is I'll just clear this and ls cd into the uh, portfolio and ls you can see all this stuff I'll just do code period and we can uh, 
put it r right here so right here on the side and we can also do the same thing for our terminal and first thing what i'll do is i'll just say npm start and it should be just fine until then okay so this is asking me for another port because my original portfolio is still running as you can see right here so i'll just hit yes but for you guys it should be just fine and you can see uh, it's opening until then what we can do is let's go to tailwind.com and we also want google font so we will just google google font and click on the first link and let's just keep it right here okay this is working fine and this is running on 3000 watt so let's go back to our uh, our project and let's start by deleting some some stuff right we don't want this three files so delete you also don't want app.test you also don't need app.css and inside app.js what you can do is remove all this and just say h1 so i'll just say h1 and hello world and save it and we also uh, just remove both these lines as well so backspace backspace and it looks just fine also remove this because we removed the file so what i'll do is i'll just remove this as well and save it again and it should be just fine let's close this okay awesome so we just cleaned it up so next thing what we need to do is uh, let's go to our index.html and i'll just hide this for a while so this is uh, th here you can change a uh, name of your website right uh, what is displayed here so what we can do is uh, let's just change it to we can change it to Tony. So uh, if you are building this for yourself, uh, you might want to put your name. So you can see it says Tony Stark right here, right? And save it again, it it works. Okay, and what happened to our icon? We do have our icon. Okay, right here, you can see the icon, right? So what I did is I hold my shift and click on the button. So it's like force refresh, okay? So close this. So we modified our index.html. Next thing we will do is uh, get started with Tailwind. So hit get started, framework guide, and we will scroll down, go to create React app. So we already did uh, part number one. Let's do part number two. I'll just copy this, I'll go back to my terminal and open up new tab and just paste it right here, uh, both the lines, and it should be just fine. Okay, we are good to go. So I'll go back here and next uh, copy this guy here and go back to your code and here you will search for tailwind config and the way you bring this up is hold command and p for windows people i assume it should be control p so click that delete all this and paste here and just hit save okay next thing you need to do is copy this guy here and this is the last thing we need so I'll close this and we will open our index.css. Once again, remove all this, paste it here, okay? And, uh, okay, this should be fine. So if we go back here and I think it looks pretty done. Okay, uh, let's just uh, stop this and run npm start just again and make sure Tailwind is working fine. So uh, close this, we can just refresh this page Oh, okay, now it's working on 3000 because I stopped my previous server. Okay, looks like it's working. So what uh, we can do one more thing. Uh, go to app.js and just uh, do class name and we can say text red, text red 500 and save it. And look at that, our text is red. So our tailwind is working completely fine. Next thing we need to do is let's, uh, let me move all my assets into the folder so okay where are my assets it's right here uh, i'll keep it here so first of all i'll create a new folder inside source which is going to be assets and hit enter i'll move all this and uh, with, so make sure you don't select your resume resume goes inside public folder so i'll leave this inside my assets folder okay awesome and i will move my uh, resume inside public folder okay so we are done with that and uh, also close this the next thing we need to do is let's set up our font so i have already selected just to show show it to you guys i'll just do it again so click on poppins and you know what for a while we can just bump it up so i'll start selecting all this so we need all of them 
So select, select. Uh, it does take some time. Uh, if you don't want to do this, you can, of course, uh, go to my project files and copy it for yourself, right? And select, 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 and select, select. Okay, uh, that's it. And make sure you select add import here and just copy everything without the style tag. So I'll go back to my VS code and you know what, just put it here and I'll close this and go to your index.css and you will paste it right here, okay? Make sure you, uh, this is what you are pasting. You don't have style tags here, okay? Next thing you we need to do is we need to use this uh, font for whole project. So the way you do that in Tailwind is just say at layer and this is going to be base HTML and here what you want to do is copy this guy here and you can paste it here. There's a good chance like my face is right there, like right here. So you know what? I can scroll up. Uh, okay, let me do this. Okay, here. So you want to copy this part here. Okay, make sure you select add import and copy this guy. This uh, this goes here, so this is here. And once you scroll down, you copy this and this goes inside your HTML, okay? Uh, awesome. So I'll make this big again and we can close this, we can close this. And okay, let's see our font is working or not. Okay, if I save it, do you see like, it's really hard to see change when you have like this consistent font. So what we will do is, let's just throw in some random gibberish and also bump up the size. So I'll just say text for Excel, save it, I'll go back to my index.css. And now if I comment this out and save it, look at that. Do you guys, uh, do you guys see the change, right? Like uh, save it and okay, uh, the best way to do is look at the A, okay? So A is pretty different. Bam, right? Okay, uh, that's how you test it. Okay, next we are done with all the boilerplate stuff. Uh, now we can start working on our HTML, right? Okay, so before we get started uh, with HTML part, there are two things we need to do. So first, uh, if you don't have this extension, you should get it, so which is Tailwind IntelliSense, this one, so I'll bump it up. This is Tailwind CSS IntelliSense by Tailwind Labs. Guys, amazing extension. Make sure you get this, okay? It will make uh, working with Tailwind super easy. Okay, and next thing is, uh, so I'll just put it right back here and go to your uh, terminal and just uh, create new tab, right? This one's running. And I'll just do ls clear. Uh, and we need to install one more package, which is React icons. Okay, so that we can use them. So I'll just do npmi react icons. Uh, they have like ton of icons, guys, super amazing. So go back to your VS code. And first we will start by creating new folder inside source, which is going to be components. And we will also create our first file, which is going to be header.jsx. And we will start off by doing rafce. Uh, close this on the side. So I'll go back to my app.js and what I'll do is uh, remove all this, right? So I'll just say return and this is going to be a div. And you know what, uh, we can make this a little bigger and make this a little smaller. And guys, Tailwind is mobile first anyways. So initially we will build for mobile and then uh, as we move along, we will create breakpoints for larger devices, okay? So that's how Tailwind works. And inside this div, we will just have our header and exactly just like this. If I hit enter, it automatically imports this on the top. If it doesn't happen for you, just Google or, because I don't remember how this happened. I think it's it's built in. So as far as you are adding .jsx, I think it should work. And, but if you don't see it, best way is to just uh, type it out, right? It doesn't take much time. Okay, now if I save the file and if I refresh, we can see header here. It should have auto refresh. So let's just add some stuff here. Okay, now it works. Awesome. So next thing we will do is, uh, of course we don't want it to be div, we want it to be a header. And inside this header, we will have a nav and inside this nav, we will have h1, which is going to be Jarvis. So Jarvis, save it. Okay, we see Jarvis right there. 
and uh, with so h1 will have a sibling which is going to be a div and inside this div we will have icon now you need to get this icon so i'll just say import and this is going to be from react icons and put md so guys this are all the like font types so the way so if you want different fonts what you can do is just go to google uh, react uh, icons and click on the first link which is reacticonsgithubio and i'll bump it up so these are all the icons guys so if i search for arrow look at that you have like so many arrows <laughs> So let's say you like this one, right? So this one, which is AI outline arrow up. So the way you import is uh, the first two characters uh, is where you import from, right? So for us, it's MD. So it's basically MD. And uh, you can see MD right here as well. So if I search for MD, uh, okay, right here, this is IO MD. Okay, look at this guys. So all this, you can import like this. But if it's AI, what you can do is instead of MD, you can just say AI, okay? Uh, I think you get the point. But like one good advice, guys, make sure you search for all the icons you need. And once you are done, make sure you close the tab because that website is really CPU and memory intensive because like just think they are loading so many icons, right? So make sure you close it and I'll just put it right back here. Okay, we we need to get our icons, which is MD Nights Stay, and another one is MD WB Sunny. Okay, save it. Awesome. So I'll just put both the icons right here right now. So MD Nights Stay, and this is going to be MD WB Sunny, and close it, and we see the icons right here, right? So what we need to do now is we just need to style them. So let's start by styling our header, which is going to be class BG White. And guys, we are putting this dark uh, tailwind stuff right now, but after like a couple of minutes, I'll show you how this dark works. So for now, just uh, stick with me, okay? So this is going to be BG gray 900, awesome. And this is going to be text gray 900. So basically what's, what hap what's happening is, by default, for light version, our background is going to be white, but when you click on dark, Tailwind will know you switch to dark and it will use this as the background, right? Super simple. And this is going to be text gray and for dark, we will have text white, super easy. That's awesome. Uh, save it and we don't see much difference right now. Next is for nav. Nav will have flex, justify between and items center. So right here, item center, py of phi, so PY is padding of Y, uh, so top and bottom, and PX will be left and right. And PX phi, uh, I think this doesn't make sense. So what you can do is, if you have phi on top and bottom and left and right, easy way to do will be P phi, and it's still the same, okay? Awesome, uh, we, are optimizing, we are optimizing my own previous project, that's super awesome. So text large, and you can see, did it work? yep it did so if i make it for excel oh look at that so for now let's just stick to large because it's it's like a nav bar right awesome so div has no classes but we will have classes for both our icons so we so they both will have similar classes so what you can do is select this right and hit command d it will put two cursors and you can start typing right here super cool right so this is going to be text to Excel and cursor, pointer, and hit save. And you can see it's bigger now. And you can also see cursor, pointer, right? But they still don't work, okay? Do mind, they still don't work. So we need a state. So the way you do that is we will move to app.js. And here we need to create a state first. So I'll just say const. And this is going to be dark mode and set dark mode and this is going to be a use state so if it's false it's going to be light so we can say by default it's true so this will make it dark mode by default so for now let's just stick to false okay and uh, if you use use state once again it auto imported for me but if you don't see auto import just uh, put it on uh, top of your file right 
otherwise it won't work okay next uh, what we need to do is we need to first thing the way you set up uh, the way tailwind knows that you are using dark mode is here so inside tailwind.config.js what you need to do is just start typing dark mode and here you can say class and put a comma right here and close the file we don't need it and first thing what we will do is inside the so we are inside our app.js so next to there we will just say class name and if it's dark mode uh, and we will just say end end and this is going to be dark okay that's it if it's light uh, we know it's light okay so make sure it's dark mode and dark oh now i'm realizing uh okay that it does make sense so super awesome and the uh, so in order for us to change all this stuff we'll just say dark mode is equal to dark mode because our header needs to have both of these uh, because our header is what we will uh header is going to set the dark mode and we also need dark mode to show which uh in order to switch the icons right so that's that make sure you save it go back to header.js and inside here so first of all inside this they will just say on click and this is going to be this and we will just say set dark mode and we don't have dark mode yet because we need to do here so you can do props here right like if you're used to props this is how this is one way to do but we will use object destructuring which is super amazing so i'll just say dark mode and this is going to be set dark mode and go back here and just say set dark mode and we'll just change the polarity right so if it's true it it makes it false and if it's false it will become true so save it and now uh if i click any of this icon look at that guys it does work right but we need to fix it. Uh, one more thing, one last thing we need to do. So if it's dark mode, uh, we will see if it's dark mode. Then we will do this. So if it's dark mode, we want sun to appear. And if it's not, we want uh, the, the cloud to appear, right? So if we click this, it becomes dark mode. And if you click this, it becomes huh, uh, light mode, right? Looks like I have swapped the icons. Yeah. So, uh, yeah, if it's light mode, yeah, dark mode should, okay, yeah. Uh, right now it's dark mode, so it's like clouds, makes sense. So light mode is sun, okay. Uh, just just confused with my own stuff. Awesome. So next uh, we will go back. Uh, it looks like we are done with the header part. Okay, which works completely fine. And guys, we are also changing the text color, right? So it happens here. So if you want to uh, change it to teal 500, completely fine by me. So you can do teal 300. Uh, look at that, right? It becomes teal 300. And if you click here, uh, it's black because now it's light mode. And, uh, but I would go back to white because white looks great. So let's close our header. And what we will do is inside app.js, we will also create main. And inside main, we will create our hero section first, but let's give some classes to our main, which is going to be BG white and dark is, actually it's the same thing. So this one is going to be BG gray 900, and we will have text uh, gray 900. So text gray 900, and for dark, we will have text of white. So text white, okay. So it will auto apply to everything inside main, right? Uh, let's go to let's create a new file inside components which is going to be hero.jsx and inside here we'll just say rafce go back to app.js and i'll just say hero and it auto completes for me uh, so it it so here it says like it, it wants to import from dot components uh, slash hero right so i'll just hit enter and you can see it auto imported just like my header and if i save it here you can see hero right okay so now uh let me close this and let's go to our hero and i hope it's working so i'll just save it okay it works uh next thing let's start off by importing our icons so i think we have yep we do have social icons here and we also have this arrow right 
so we will start off by importing those icons so i'll just say import and put this brackets and this is going to be react icons and we will be importing from fa i think which is font awesome so first is going to be fa twitter fa facebook fa linkedin uh, and fa arrow down uh, this one right here okay awesome and just save next thing we also need the avatar so i dragged and dropped it from uh, my own local folder uh, i'll i'll link uh, all the assets in the description below so do check it out and this is the avatar which we will be using right looks amazing right it's it's a 3d render guys super awesome so i'll just uh, close all this and uh, close this one as well uh, so let's import the avatar first. So I'll just say imp import avatar from this is going to be dot dot assets avatar dot png, right? Awesome. Hit save. And next thing we need is this so that we can loop over it. Uh, I'll just copy it from my notes right here. Uh, you can write it down right here. So this. Uh, we'll use this uh, constant array to loop over and create the links okay so that we don't have to like style multiple times awesome uh, i hope you got it and inside this return of course we will be creating a section here so instead of div uh, remove the div and just say section and inside this section we will have h2 which is going to be tony stark and after the h2 we will have h3 which is going to be software engineer and after the h3 we will have a p tag and i'll just copy and paste it from my notes uh, right here and i'll just paste it right here uh, you can copy it if you like i'll just save it so that it's easier for you to see but it's it's the same thing okay and i'll make sure this is this okay it's just auto formatting uh, but uh, make sure you have this pan uh, that's what makes it pulsing right look at that it's pulsing already so it's because of this right animate pulse awesome so now let's get uh, give classes to our section so first section is going to be min height of screen and save it next is going to be flex flex column save and uh, justify start save and items center save and i think okay it brings everything in center and we will have padding of phi and text of center okay save again awesome looks great next we will style our h2 so h2 will have classes of text of phi excel text rows 600 and we will have font medium uppercase and font bold okay wow uh, we have multiples so how about we keep font bold i think that should be fine okay i think it looks good so let's keep font bold for h3 so let's close this as well and this will have class name of py of 3 so that's once again padding on y axis so top and bottom and text of 2xl save and look at that guys awesome for p tag we will have classes of max with excel and font light and text gray of 500 awesome save it and look at that so what max with excel does is so as the screen gets larger so right now you can see like we have two lines so as the screen get gets larger it like sticks to a max width right otherwise it will like be all over the place so that's why i i like to do that so max with excel awesome so we are done with the first part next we will work on the social icons so you can just say social icons so that's easier to identify uh, so yep social icons and here we will create a div and inside this div we will loop over our social once again guys this is this array right here okay if you don't have it just copy it from right here uh, you can see it and i'll hide it for now so social so we are mapping we will map over the array and we will use destructuring again hey guys if you don't know what destructuring is 
I, I do have a video on destructuring on my channel. Do check it out. So this is going to be ID link and I can once again, this array has bunch of objects. So I'll just close this a uh, bunch of objects and each object has ID link and icon. So once again, close it and inside this and make sure you put parentheses, not uh, the, the curly braces. Okay. So here we will have a tag and a tag will have a tref of link and inside we will also have key once again key is going to be our id and let's just do a here and this is going to be our icon and save it next thing uh we need to do is just uh, give it some class name so uh, class name is going to be cursor pointer we will have duration of 300 for our hover animation and this is how you do hover guys so just type in hover and uh, colon double colon and you can just say text rows 600 and save it and now if you hover over them you can see the color right but they are still small so we need to add and one more thing guys we, we also need to do this so this is going to be target so if you see right now, so what happens is, I'll close this, save it. If you click right now, it will open Twitter in the same page, right? And uh, same thing goes for Facebook, it opens in uh, same same page. What you want to do is, you want it to open to new page, right? So what I'll do is, I'll just say real. Uh, first we need to do target. So target is going to be underscore blank and real is going to be no opener. Uh, let me just copy it. This is for security purposes. So I just, I don't want to mess it up. Uh, right here, guys, no opener, no referent. Okay, save it and it should be just fine. Uh, visually, you don't see any difference, but it's good to have those lines right there. So now if we click on Twitter, it will literally open to new tab, right? Which is awesome. So close it and close this as well. So for now this, uh, so we need to make it right, like horizontal and then we will have the image okay awesome let's give this div some classes so probably flex py of eight uh you know what let's just say flex and we will have justify evenly and we need to do py of eight and we will have for large screens it's going to be py of 16. i'll show you the difference for a while uh, in a while so text 3xl it will bump up the font uh the icon size with full and for after medium sizes width is going to be one three, which is one by three, one third, right? So uh, if you see the padding like PY8, so right now it has padding of eight right here, but as we uh, increase the screen size, you will be able to see that it, it moves down, right? You saw that, so that's what's happening. Guys, that's how easy to add breakpoints in Tailwind, right? Super awesome. So I'll just make sure it's uh, right here so on the side awesome so it looks like we are done with the or uh, the social icon part next we need to work on the image so image will be a div first so inside this div we will have image and source is just going to be our avatar and look at that guys it's going to be so so huge and after this avatar we will have an a tag and this is going to be for our resume guys and after this div we will have uh, the arrow, right? Uh, arrow down animation. And I'll just add a comment. And this is going to be avatar and resume. Awesome. So it's easier for you guys to see what's going on. Okay, we have this avatar. Let's start by adding classes. So this div will not have any classes. And you can just say avatar here and for classes for image we will have width of 60 and height of 60 and after medium we will have width of 72 and once again we'll do the same thing for height which is going to be 72 so let's just say 72 and right here and uh, save it okay look at that uh, next thing what we need to do is we'll say object uh, contain so let's do object cover if you save it okay and next thing is going to be object top so we see the top part right awesome and 
so let's also add the gradient right uh, okay so gradient is going to be BG gradient gradient uh, to bottom and it's going to be from rows of 600 and save it and look at that guys awesome right the only thing we need to do is rounded Excel and save it nice so you can also do one thing right like if you see head is like sticking on top so what you can do is just say PT so you can say PT5 and uh, it, it just comes down right so super awesome guys okay next thing uh, why it's sticking right here we should be doing something uh -uh. oh okay so uh, may I think we did we messed up somewhere we need to cut this so that div is supposed to end here and now if you save it uh, okay it, it comes down right awesome inside this a tag what we'll do is so a tag will just say resume and we will have a span here which is oh yeah eventually I end up not having the icon so we can just have resume right here super awesome and href is going to be pretty simple which is huh, I think it's so it's going to be the file name of your resume so yash uh, hyphen resume dot PDF so yash hyphen resume dot uh, pdf awesome and make sure a download is equal to true next thing uh, we need to do is we will add some class names but before that we can actually test it out so if I click on the resume awesome look at that guys we were able to download the file nice so let's add a tailwind to our uh, our anchor tag so it's going to be flex items center we will also have justify center okay I just hit save so justify center will have margin on top of empty 10 okay it works so BG gradient to right uh, of course we need to add the colors so from rows 600 to teal 500 and now if I save it Oh wow look at that guys super amazing and we will have uh, we don't have gap here so this is going to be text white and we will have padding Y of 2 and rounded large and now if I save it BAM look at that guys super awesome cool cool okay so next uh, we will work on the down arrow and once again uh, we can see if we click it here uh, it it saves the file right here right here awesome okay guys so inside this div we will put our arrow icon so fa arrow down uh, right there and we will just do this and we will give it some class so this is going to be text gray of 400 save it and text Excel uh, so that it's just a little big we can make it to Excel as well and we just need to add uh, let's just do a margin top 10 and here so this is the final step and this is how you can animate so animate bounce save it and look at that guys it starts bouncing awesome so one more class now this down arrow is not a tailwind class guys but this uh, we will use this to query select and uh, remove uh, remove it from uh, from the DOM okay so the way we are going to do that is window dot add event listener and we are going to listen to scroll event and this is going to be function and guys make sure it's you type in function don't use arrow function if you use arrow function it won't work okay so const down arrow and this is going to be document dot oh uh, no it's not this just say document man <laughs> okay so document dot query selector and this is going to be down arrow save it and next we will say this dot scroll y 
is greater than or equal to 2 for now uh, just for testing purposes uh, we will come back and change it so this is going to be class list dot add and we will just add hide down arrow awesome and now we will just copy this else we will remove it right so remove uh, and we need to create this class so I'll just copy this go to index.css and here just paste it and we'll just say display none guys this is the only uh, css which we are typing and just because of this uh, so now if we scroll here it should disappear look at that guys super amazing right so awesome awesome okay so now let's go back and change it to 90 okay and once we have other sections here, uh, it will hide automatically, right? So our hero section looks super awesome, guys. And look at that. If you make it, if you turn it into dark mode, it still looks amazing. So hit that thumbs up for this amazing theme-based React portfolio, guys. Uh, awesome. So let's move along. Next, uh, we will be working on, uh, okay, I. I think I closed the server. Anyways, I think next we will be working on our services section. So let's go let's go ahead and create a new file, not a folder. This is going to be services.jsx and just do RAFCE, save it, and go to app.js. And after hero, you can just say services and just put it right there save it and i think you can see services right here awesome okay so along with services component we need to create one more component which is going to be a common component so before uh, so for that let's create a folder which is going to be common and inside this common folder let's create a section.jsx and i'll just do rafce save uh, first, uh, let's start by removing this. So I'll just say return and this is going to be a section and let's give it some classes inside. Uh, okay, let's just do all the HTML first. So uh, inside section, there's going to be h3 and also p tag and we also need some props here. So they are going to be title, subtitle and we also need children. Awesome. For h3, uh, okay. So H3 here, it's going to be title. And this guy over here is going to be subtitle. And below P, we will have children. Okay, children. <laughs> uh, my bad. Okay, so for a section, we'll just do min height of fit. And we'll do flex, flex call, and justify start. And we will also have items center, PY of 16. And we will have px of 5 and text center. Awesome. And for h3, we will do class of py of 3, text 3xl, and large, it's going to be text 5xl. And for p, we will have class of max, uh, it's going to be max with xl. And we will have font light and text uh, gray 500 and margin bottom of 10. And we will have text small and for medium it's going to be text base okay so uh just hold on you will see uh once we use it right so this is how uh we create a common section so that we don't have to like uh, copy and paste this in every other sections right like services and portfolio and testimonials we can just use this pre-built uh component awesome right so we gave classes to everything now it's time to use it, right? So first we will use it inside our uh, services, right? So we will use it inside services. So go inside services and close this. So let's start off by using the section. So I'll just remove all this. So let's just say section and hit enter. Okay, uh, so we need to close this. And now if we do title here, so title is going to be services and we are going to use 
this here so this is services icon and now if I save it uh, look at that why it's not refreshing it's right here guys look at that looks amazing right and inside this section we will have subtitle and I'll just copy this from here so copy and paste it right here and save it awesome look at that guys it looks good right so now every time we create new components like for portfolio for testimonials we can use this section right pre-built section super easy so that we don't need to like copy and paste all the stuff and then this will have a div and inside this div so first I need to do one thing so I'll copy this first we need to import bunch of pictures so for that I'll just copy it right here uh, and we don't need the section part now this are the pictures which uh, are part of the assets folder so as you can see I have all these pictures here uh, commerce mobile research and web so you can once again grab it from uh, the link in the description below and I will also copy this array so that I don't need to type it out and waste everyone's time so it's here uh, you can just type it out for yourself awesome uh, okay I'll hide it so next inside this section we will have a div now this div will have some classes but we will get to them later so this is going to be services dot map and this will have uh, let's use destructuring so ID image title and make sure it's parentheses once again and here it's going to be a div so div uh, div and click this and inside this div we will have image now this image is going to be this image so I'll just say image and after this image we will have h3 now h3 this is going to be our title okay save it and you can see it's really big so we need to add some styles here so first let's start off by styling this whole thing so this is going to be grid gap of 10 and for large we will say grid calls to awesome save it and for this day we will have uh, so first uh, so as we are looping so we need to add a key this is going to be ID and this will have some classes now this classes are going to be flex flex call items center justify center padding of five all around and we will have shadow large for dark it's going to be shadow gray uh, okay for dark <laughs> it's going to be shadow uh, gray 100 and rounded Excel and we will have duration of 300 and ease in and out once again this is part of animations and on hover we want it to scale 110 awesome that's it and for image uh, this title so all tag is going to be title okay just say title and let's add some classes so this will have width of 36 and it will have height of 36 as well and for uh, medium we will have width of 44 and height of 44 as well right there and uh, so save it uh, look at that guys awesome so we'll just say object contain save it nice super amazing okay uh, so last thing we need to do is give class to our h3 which is going to be uh, margin top of five and text of base look at that guys super beautiful right now if I bump it up uh, for large screen it will look something like this Wow and we have this our arrow and as we scroll down it it automatically hides right super super amazing so looks like we are done with the services part so next uh, we will work on our portfolio section so what I'll do is I'll create a new so first of all let's minimize all this uh, inside components I'll go ahead and create a new file which is going to be portfolio.jsx RAFCE enter save it go back to app.js and here we'll just say portfolio save it and you can see portfolio right there so what I'll do is uh, portfolio right there 
now uh, for portfolio what we need to do is once again we will use our section guys so what I'll do is go to our portfolio and remove all this and start off by saying section once again yes we want it to import and this title is going to be of course portfolio and the icon which I will use is this one and let's just add subtitle right there and once again I'll copy the subtitle so that I don't need to type this and just paste it right here and hit save and something is wrong so cost portfolio it should be working fine we don't want this save it and awesome look at that guys that's what I was saying it's so easy to use this section right otherwise we need to go back to services and copy it and just type all the uh, tailwind right it it saves us a lot of time okay so let's start off by importing the icons so I'll just say import and this is going to be from react icons and this is going to be FA and here we'll just say FA github uh, and this is going to be FA external link square alt and that's that and I will just copy all my imports once again uh, they are part of the assets right so I'm importing from a set and I will also copy my array so that we don't need to type it out here so I'll just copy it and paste it right here now okay so this is it I can scroll and you can copy pause and copy super simple so it's an array of objects with property ID image title github and demo so guys with this array now there will be like uh, portfolios right you can add you can of course add your own portfolios by creating uh, one more object like this or remove right if you only have four uh, so you can remove five and six uh, but the best part here is so if you have github you can change this to your own github right your projects github and you can change this to your uh, if you have uploaded on netlify or hosting or something like that you can paste the link here okay so that way it will open up uh, in to a specific link so I hope you were able to cop uh, type it out so that's that and I'll just minimize this and inside this section so let's start adding now guys this is really simple so we'll be done in no time so inside this div so let's uh, start off by adding classes to this div so this is going to be grid uh, not good so grid a uh, gap of 8 and we will have large gap of 14 and we will have large grid calls to awesome and now inside this div we will loop over our projects projects uh, array now this is going to be map and here we will use destructuring ID image title uh, github and demo and once again uh, arrow function and make sure you use parentheses right there and this will have a div and inside this div we will have image and I think after image we will have another div so div and inside this div we will have h2 and okay h2 will have the title so title and after h2 we will have a tag now this a tag is going to be a fa github icon and just copy it here and this guy over here is going to be fa external link square yep awesome so now if I save it uh, you can see this right here right so only thing we need to do is we need to style them so once again first of all source is going to be image now you can see all the images as well right so let's start by adding the styles here uh, you know what let's start with the div and first we need to add the key so it's going to be ID and let's add some classes right there so max with large uh, flex uh, shadow large and shadow gray of 300 rounded to Excel and overflow will be hidden and now if I save it nice it's coming along guys so next we will uh, so for image all let's just add title otherwise it will keep yelling at us and this will have class of uh, just say with two by three 
and save it and now this div here is going to have class 1 by 3 makes totally sense uh, makes sense right flex and flex goal items center justify evenly and padding of one all around awesome look at that guys super cool and h2 is right here now if you want you can style h2 but i'll just leave it as it is and for href this is going to be github and this guy over here is going to be demo once again guys this is uh, coming from here which is object destructuring and we are getting it from here which has all this properties right bunch of objects right there so for h2 no classes for a, uh, a tag and once again we want to open them in a new page right a new tab so we will add this uh, in fact we will add it to this one here as well and along with that let's also add classes so let's add classes to both of them now this will have class of text to excel cursor pointer uh, duration 150 and however we want to scale 110 and save it and look at that guys super awesome when you hover it gets a little bit bigger right now think about it like we have six projects here now if we had so if we were not using loop this this pro this uh this component will be so big like probably it will uh, it will have 200 lines because we will be copying and pasting but we are using this loop like just imagine so this whole thing is a loop right uh until here uh, right here right i think no right here so from line 65 to line 90 so that's 25 lines and that's 25 cross 6 so you see right like uh, super cool and uh, once again if you bump it up for big screen looks amazing if you turn it to light mode it looks great as well right super super amazing uh, next we will work on so next is working on testimonials part so first we will create a new file inside components which is going to be testimonials.jsx r-a-f-c-e now once again we will be using our section so instead of this I uh, will just say remove this and we can just say section okay section hit enter close it and for title oops uh, <laughs> title is going to be testimonials testimonials and we will have icon of this uh, you can have whatever icon you like and subtitle is going to be something which will I just which I will just copy it from here and paste it right here and save it okay we still don't see it because we need to import in our app.js and this is going to be testimonials save it close that on the side go back to testimonials and we can see testimonials right here so first off once again I'll copy my array uh, copy and put it right here so I'll show you uh, I'll show it to you and we also need avatar so I'll just say import avatar from now you can have uh, you can get different avatars from Google or something but I'll just use uh, this avatar right for uh, for testimonials so once again this is the array you can see uh, testimonials array it has ID it has image now all the uh, testimonials have like same image but for you it can be different you can get three different images uh, then we have name and their comment right now we will be once again looping over them as you may have guessed it so let's get to it so inside this section uh, we will start off by having a div and inside this div we will loop over our testimonials so testimonials testimonials right here it's in all caps and we will map and once again we will use destructuring so image uh, name and comment and once again use this uh, arrow function and make sure you use parenthesis not uh, 
uh, yep, uh, don't use curly brackets, use the round brackets. And inside this, we will have another div, which is this one. And inside this div, we will have another div. And this div will be image. And after this div, we will have another div. And this div will be h3, which is going to be name. And we will have p tag. Now, this is going to be comment and close it. And you can see it right here. Uh, if we add the source, so just uh, my bad, just add the source, so image, and you will be able to see big images, right? Wow, this 3D renders are so beautiful, super amazing, cool. So let's start off by adding class to our top div, which is which will have match with Excel, flex, flex colon, uh, and gap of two. Next, we will add class here, so flex p4, and justify center, items center, and rounded excel, shadow md, and for dark, we will have a shadow gray 300, and save it, woohoo, looks good, right, uh, just hold on, we are getting there, and now this will have class of one by three, save it and for image we will of course uh, so let's for alt tag let's just add name here and we can have a class name here this will be width of 20 height of 20 and object cover and object top uh, just like our hero section and padding top of two save it Ooh, nice super nice and now this div will have class of width two by three flex flex column justify center item center a gap of three and padding of two nice Woohoo! looks good and this will be text excel font semi bold and p tag is going to have now okay uh so you saw that right so when i'm here what i'll do is i i generally go to so i do this and instead of going back i go here and do this i don't know somehow like this is how uh, i have learned it but anyways like just to type faster but i think it's not that fast <laughs> anyways i think it's more to do with my finger positions and the way i have set up my shortcuts so anyways i'll just save it and look at that guys looks amazing and looks great on uh, desktop as well and how about when we are in light mode light mode looks good too nice awesome okay so we are done with our hero part services part portfolio part and okay we did not check this so if you click here wow look at that it takes you here now, if you click here, it takes you to Google. Super, super awesome. What happens if we click here? It takes you to apple.com, nice. And I think it's all node again, but you get the point, right? You can change all the links the way you like it. Uh, but for me, these are all same, but make sure if you want to change all the links. So now this, let me just put it on the side. So this is testimonials. Once again, you may want to change all this. But for portfolio, once again, uh, as I said earlier, you can change all these links and it will automatically change the links here and make your life uh, a lot, lot easier. So next we will be working on contact form and footer and we are done with the project guys. Super beautiful, right? So let's go to components, create a new file. This is going to be contact.jsx, R-A-F-C-E, save it go to app.js and import it right here so contact save it uh, and if you scroll down here you can see contact right here at the bottom right super cool now let's do the same thing so what i'll do is uh, let me open up my notes and once again instead of this we will say section uh, we want it to close now title is going to be contact and let's add a phone so you can have whatever you like and i'll just add this phone subtitle is going to be right here uh, let me just grab it 
and you can copy it as well so i'll just put it right here awesome along with that we also need to copy this now once again we are going to loop over an array which is going to be right here and for this we also need to import all the icons which i will grab from here and paste it right here okay make sure you add this and also type this app awesome and i'll just save it and look at that guys it looks super amazing right so i'll just uh i'll just minimize this and we also need one more thing we need to import an image so which is going to be import contact uh, from uh, assets so let's just remove this asset and this is going to be mobile.png and it's this one so mobile and uh, this this image okay uh, what we'll do is so we got the image next we will start putting our HTML now HTML will have div inside this div we will have another div this div will have image and after this div we will have another div which will have a p tag and after this div we will have another div which will have our social icons right so this will be social dot map and we will use t structuring link and icon once again arrow parentheses and a tag and inside this a tag we will have our icon and if i save it we can see the icons inside this p tag we will have some text which i will just copy and paste it right here and our image is going to be our contact image and save it and bam look at that so we just need to style all this stuff so let's start uh, by styling our div right here now this div will have class of flex flex column items center justify center gap of eight and we will have text uh, center okay and for this div we will have no classes and let's for all tag we can just say contact info and for this we will have class name of width uh, 32 and height of 32 save it Ooh, hoo, hoo. getting better right and this div will have no classes as well and this p tag will have classes max width uh, extra small for md it's going to be max width large and font extra light awesome save it nice and after that this div will have a bunch of classes so flex width of full items center justify evenly and text of 3xl nice save it and great bam we have it and when you hover we don't see anything so if you want to add some hover animations what we can do is uh, let's add some classes inside our a tag so first of all href is going to be link and once again we will have target uh, and this is going to be underscore blank and real is going to be no opener opener no referrer <laughs> and this will have some classes so let's say uh, on hover we want it to be rows right so where is cursor pointer how it becomes cursor pointer huh okay yeah because it's a tag so what we can do is let's just uh, say mm -mm, duration 300 let's do 200 uh, ease in out and we will also say on hover we want it to be text rows 600 save it and now if you hover over it, it looks super cool right so next we will work on the form right and form we will work after the div so it's going to be which div so it will be part of this div right uh this div so this is going to be our form so bottom form and just put a comment right here so just making sure we are selecting the right div and this div will have some classes to start off let's just say div and this div will have some form and this div will have class of p of 
8 uh, p of 8 text left and width of full save it and action we will get back to this later this is where we add uh, our link to get form uh, i'll show you uh, i'll show it to you guys later so this method is going to be post okay and inside this form we will have a div so div will have another div and this div so first div will have class of gap of four and width of full and this day will have class of flex flex column nice and inside this day we will have label which is going to be capitalize you know what let's add the label first so name uh, and okay we don't want to worry about HTML for but this will have some classes this is going to be capitalize save it text small padding y of 2 and font extra light save it and if we scroll down we can see the label right here now we need to add the input field now input field is going to be right this one so type is going to be text name is going to be name uh, make sure you add this name stuff otherwise your get form won't work so class name this will have border of 2 rounded large padding of 3 flex on focus we want uh, uh we messed up somewhere so yep right here so on focus we want it to be outline none border gray 400 and we will say dark uh, bg gray 900 and we will have for dark we will have text of white and save it awesome look at that now if i type okay for dark mode uh, text is white but if we refresh and add a bunch of text here, it's black. Super awesome. So I'll just do this. Nice. So next, we need to copy some stuff. So we should probably copy this whole div. Okay, so just copy this whole div. Copy, uh, paste, paste, and paste. So second one is going to be a phone. So first one, second one, this is going to be phone save it and you can see uh okay it's going to be phone right here so phone and name is going to be phone okay uh make sure you do that make sure to change the name otherwise uh, get form won't work guys and once again this guy over here is going to be email save it and once again let's just add name to be email and save it and next is going to be our message so message and now instead of input it's going to be our text area so you know what we can just create another one so text area name is going to be message uh, we don't have ID and we also don't need columns but we do need rows and we also need some classes Think probably we need all the same classes so looks right to me so I'll just do one thing copy this guy over here paste it and we will have resize none okay so what that does is let's remove it save it and now everything looks great uh, something's wrong Ugh. okay I think we have this input field which we don't need and uh, supposed to add this gap so gap of four huh okay uh -uh. so what we can do is just add <laughs> margin y of two and let's also add margin y of two here for email so margin y of two save it looks good now right uh okay we are good with the text area uh, so i was saying resize so this here this lets you resize right like uh, let's bump it up i'll just change it to light mode and refresh this guy over here lets you res resize right like it lets you resize we don't want that so for that uh, we will add this so resize none 
and hit save and it won't let you resize awesome so let's put it right back and change it to dark mode and scroll down so after our message what we need to do is uh, two divs after text area so text area two divs before the form we will have another div now this is going to be of course for our button this is going to be flex items center uh, justify center and inside this div we will have a button and this will have class name of margin y of 8 a bg gradient to right and from rows uh, 600 to teal 500 and text of white and px of 6 py of 3 wow there are a lot of a uh, uh, lot of tailwind css right here so after py of three we will have font bold uppercase rounded md uh, tracking wider a uh, cursor pointer on however we want it to scale 105 and duration 200 and now if you save it look at that guys you know what actually i don't like font bold <laughs> so what we can do is uh, right here let's remove it we don't want it to be font bold and now it looks good now uh, you know what we can now nah, looks looks nice so so okay it does scale which which is pretty neat awesome so uh, we are done with the form so only thing we need to do is we need to set up our get form right get form dot io uh, and the way we are going to do it huh, something is off so i think it is not centered like it does look centered here but for big screen it doesn't look it centered so what we can do is uh right here i think it's this form p8 with full x it's just a flex so okay it did okay now it's all centered up uh looking great <laughs> uh yeah pretty neat so if i go here it looks centered pretty nice amazing right so uh if you missed it we just added like after this comment we added this flex stuff okay so now let's get to our getform.io so getform.io now here uh if you have not used getform before so what you can do is just click account and if you have never signed up just sign up what I'll do is I'll remove this one, my previous one. So I don't know how do you remove this. I'll probably go to settings and delete endpoint. I'll just delete it. I'll create a new one. So hit create and for reactor port folio and select your time zone. For me, it's going to be Asia. So Asia slash Kolkata. Uh, okay i just need to find it uh kolkata right here right here okay so just hit create and you just need to copy this guy over here make sure your method it, um, method is post that's what it's saying so for our form make sure you have method which is post and for action just add add this link right here and hit save so what we'll do is go back here, uh, refresh, and just try something. So monkey, uh, some random numbers, monkey at gmail.com. What an amazing portfolio, uh, exclamations, and hit send. And hopefully it works. Bam, guys, look at that. We have our first submission right here. Awesome, right? Uh, go back and once again we will change it to dark mode and guys the only thing we uh, we need to do is add our footer right so what i'll do is 
go to our footer and open app.js. Uh, so here, let's create a new file, which is going to be footer.jsx, R-A-F-C-E. And for that, uh, let's also import, save it and go to app.js and put footer right here. Now I'll go back to your footer and I'll close this. Now for this, we won't be able to use our section. So let's just create our own section. And this will have a P tag and P tag will have this text. Okay, so I'll just copy it and paste it. Now, if you don't know how to get this symbol uh, for Mac, it I think it's uh, option command space, basically, or you can do this, like go here uh, select edit and click on emoji symbol and then you can search for copyright copyright and select uh, whichever you like okay that's what I have done and I'll just save it and now I see the text so I just need to add some classes so for section it's going to be min height fit and flex flex call justify start items center py of 16, px of 5, uh, text center, and that's it. And for p tag, we will also have some classes. Uh, this one is going to be max width Excel, font light, and text gray 500. And we will just say margin bottom of 10. Super awesome, guys. So I think we are done with our portfolio. So let's check it out. Okay, so I'll just refresh the page. And uh, so our, our theme works, so light and dark, okay. Now let's test all the links. Twitter opens up. Now guys, again, I am on Twitter, so you can follow me. I don't really tweet right now, but eventually I'm planning on tweeting. Uh, so Facebook, I don't use Facebook. Uh, LinkedIn, same, I don't use LinkedIn quite often. And uh, click on resume, it downloads your resume, so it's right there make sure you replace it with your resume and both the animation our hand animation and our bottom arrow animation works amazing so let's check it out in dark mode first services hover effect and all these links do work uh, awesome opens up and google different links awesome make sure you change it accordingly so guys, if you have like four portfolios, you can remove this too, right? Like it's just, you just need to fix that array, right? Which we created. Testimonials, once again, uh, we can add some more gap right here. So it looks pretty close. So go to testimonials and let's also hide this. Uh, sorry. So instead of gap, gap two, let's make it gap four. So I'll just save it. And uh, pretty neat, let's make it gap six. Let's do gap eight. Okay, gap eight looks pretty good. Uh, I think it looks good on, uh, okay, testimonials look good. We have contact form, which works completely fine. Once again, this, uh, this icons work as well. Yep, LinkedIn works. Now let's check it out in our mobile version. So here I'll just select iPhone 11 Pro. So wow, this is so cool, right? Like, okay, uh, our, mo our theme works. And scroll down, services, portfolio. Uh, look at that. Icons look pretty good. Uh, if you, okay, I think it's decent. You know what, for phone, you can make it small if you want. So uh, you know, let's bring it to the side. And what we will do is go to portfolio. And here for where it says text to Excel. So change it to, let's change it to large. Nice. And so after MD, we can make it text uh, Excel, right? And for large, we can make text uh, to Excel. Nice, save it. Uh, looks good now, so I'll bump it up. So if you see, uh, make sure you look at the icons. As we grow bigger, the icons will get larger as well. Wow, right? Uh, now we have bigger icons, cool. 
once again let's go back to our iphone 11 pro so that we can keep scrolling we have our testimonials wow avatar looks so beautiful and then we have a completely operational form okay guys uh please hit that thumbs up button for this amazing changeable theme portfolio uh if you have any questions or comments you can leave them in the comment section below and uh, awesome do share it with your friends and who, who whoever knows react